We've got a nice little bit of time to catch up with uh, Brendan McCallum because he does have a runner coming up in this next race and also to barter on the weekend. Uh, Baz, how's things going? Yeah, good things, BP. It's on track, actually, so looking forward to seeing Rabada have his first hit out. Hopefully, uh, as right, the, the horse was always thought, thought quite a bit of and he's going to get better and better, so you know, it's, it'll be good to see him today against a pretty decent field, too. A horse who's winning races for you at the moment, and you got a very important win last start of the races was Tabata, and of course that was at stakes level. And, and again, you're tackling Group Three on the weekend in the Cuddle Stakes. But first of all, I'm going to take you back to that win last time of the races—a a heck of a win by Tabata, getting up in the, in the concluding stages. Yeah, it was huge, BP. It was such a thrill. Both Liz and I were down there, and Marcy was obviously there too, and we were on track. And, and I thought she'd run second, actually, and I would have been delighted with that, just getting a bit of black type and on her peer group, but then obviously she managed to get up and she was huge late and she's a horse we've had a lot of time for all the way through and um, you know she's so special to us and what she did on the track that day is connected her future as well from a broodmare point of view and, and now we sort of have another shot of the stumps with um, with the cuddle against a, a pretty good field but if you're not prepared to have a go then you know what's the point so I'd still be a little south of Eden if that was the case so you may as well keep uh, keep swinging hard, I think, BP. Yeah, that's the one. It's the, it's the right mentality, uh, Brendan. What about this horse, Gap Between Runs? You've also taken the runner to an exhibition gallop, I think it was last last week sometime when I quickly spoke to Stephen about that. So everything seems to be progressing nicely towards the weekend? Yeah, absolutely. And we've drawn well as well. Drawn four, we've got the favourite will be on the inside of us in three, and that's obviously a very good horse in Coventina Bay, so... Look, we need things to go our way, but we don't know how good she is yet. We've, we've, we've sort of scratched the surface, and we think she's got a bit more improvement in her, and Stephen's she, he's pretty confident that she's spot on for it. So, look, we'll, we'll make the trip down there, and uh, one way or the other, we'll, we'll spend a few dollars in the Wellington hospitality area that night. <laughs> As I'm sure you did when winning there last time to the races out, out of Trentham. Uh, how many horses have you got going, uh, sort of up and racing? Uh, I know we'll, we'll touch on Defibrillate very shortly, but what other horses have we got that we can look forward to that we haven't seen maybe? Uh, we've got a couple of young ones coming through as well. We've got a couple over in Australia. But just trying to sort of keep things reasonably in check. I think this game, you can you know, obviously you know, you can become a victim of it and, and really start to spread your your wings and, and it can get a bit costly. So we're just trying to sort of keep things pretty, pretty under control at the moment. We had one trial yesterday um, that's with Jamie Richard, the horse called Goddard, and he's going to go out for a spell now, but we think a bit of him as well. It's the brother, brother of Labada, um, the younger bro brother of him, uh, by Termi Lusa. He's a nice horse too. We've got a nice um, pin filly with Richie, uh, which is a horse called Maynard, who's just had a few issues, but she'll be all right. And a couple over in Aussie with... Um, John O'Shea and obviously Paddy Payne and and, uh, and one with Peter Moody too. So we've got enough going on, that's for sure. Now you spoke about your your neighbour in your street and Graham Richardson and, and I know that you're getting a thrill as, as as much as I'm sure as Graham Richardson is with what's happening with the Fibberate at the moment uh, in Australia. Uh, the horse tackled Group 1 company for the very first time in the Australian Cup has been very great, very much uh, a horse that's progressing in the right way and runs in the Mornington Cup coming up. That must be a bit of a thrill as well, even more so for for your mate and neighbour and, and Graham Richardson. Yeah, that's right, mate. He he helped a couple of us into it. He said, oh, I've got this horse and I want you guys to share in it. I think he goes pretty good. And and so we've, we've got a, a toenail, but it doesn't really matter because the thrill we get watching him um, and, and what it means to him. You know, he bred the horse and it's taken him on this amazing journey too. And and he's a bloody good horse, and I'm sure he's going to he's going to give us plenty more thrills. And I thought he was huge in in the Australian Cup as well. Um, and obviously he's in this weekend. He's got to carry a bit of weight. Mornington Cup, but he just seems so versatile, and he's bred to be over a bit of ground too. So hopefully he's he's good on that day. But you know, it's, for us, it's the thrill of of um, you know Richie's good mate of ours as well as our neighbour, and and it's nice to be able to um, share in those experiences with good people. Now, Baz, I want to talk to you about another media release that's just come out uh, most recently and we're going to be uh, hearing a little bit more from you. Uh, just talk us uh, around uh, SEN and the, the possibility of uh, what you're going to be doing with this uh, particular network. Well, I don't want to give too much away, do I, BP? But it's going to be a bit of fun, that's for sure. We'll get, some, <laughs> get plenty, of, uh, plenty of racing and plenty of sport on the radio and look, I'm a huge... Sports fan, obviously, I'm cricket swear I've cut my teeth, but I love my racing and, and 
sort of across many other sports like most Kiwis are. So a good opportunity to, to champion some of our sports people and sporting teams and, and stars and do it on, on the platform that is radio. So really excited. You see NZ is, is going to it's going to make a pretty big splash in the market and I think people are going to be riding behind it and I think it's going to be great for not just sport but, but also racing and, and to get the, the, the following and, and the fan fear as well that it really deserves. So I'm really excited to be in the, in the, in the forefront of it with a, a breakfast show, mate. We're going to have to get up a bit earlier, but that's OK. Um, that'll be worth it, I'm sure. Yeah. And just getting dipping your toes into the media side of things, obviously, uh, radio, um, is that something new for you? Obviously, you've been doing the, the, the cricket work uh, in terms of commentary, but uh, radio, uh, another different avenue for you? Yeah, I, I sort of did a bit of radio over in Australia as well, um, and some of the TV stuff, I kind of did most of it away from, from New Zealand, first and foremost, and got a little bit of education under my belt for you. You take on the eyes of the, of the New Zealand public, so hopefully, um, you know, a little bit of experience. I'm still very green, obviously, but there's some good people who will be coming on board and, and some big names, which will uh, make a bit of a splash as well, I can certainly lean on. And I'm pretty lucky, mate. I've obviously had a cricket career, and, and what's now eventuated from that is the media and also a coaching career and getting my, an opportunity to stay involved and and sport is, is pretty amazing and I'm very, very grateful for it and, and hopefully we don't cock it up too much, mate. <laughs> I'm sure you won't. There'll be people tuning in and keen to listen, uh, Brendan. All right, mate, we'll let you go. Let's hope the, the horse can uh, uh, run a big race, go and have a, a nervous drink and uh, hopefully we can, we can see the horse running well today. Fingers crossed. Thanks, mate.